Okay, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the fourth video of 12 on modeling a human heart in Blender. And what we're going to do now is just, we've got our reference images. We're going to split our Blender screen and put a reference image on the right side and left side and start uh, working with uh, adjusting the graphics to get the modeling going. So let's open up Blender and bring in those images. So I've opened up a new version of Blender and immediately, you know, this typical Blender cube appears on the screen. Let's just hit the X key and get rid of that. So we'll erase that. And we're going to split the screen. Now, the way you split the screen is we go down here to the seam of the screen. See that seam right there? Roll over that seam and right click. And when you see that, you just hit split area. And you can put that split anywhere you want. We're just going to put it right here. And now we have two screens. One for one image and one for the other. Let's go ahead and bring our first reference image in. What I want to do is build the circulation uh, on this side and the top down uh, body slice on the other. So let's hit view and bring in our circulation image. So we go to background image. There we go. Hit use background image. And we're just going to select load. Now remember up here we see that we can change the uh, alpha. So we'll bring the alpha up a little bit. Here we can change the size. Here's the X offset and the Y offset. Now if you take uh, two pictures of the same model, this typically is not an issue. They usually are about the proportionally right. But in our case, when we're actually bringing in two separate models, uh, two separate images from different places, we'll actually have to use this adjust size offset uh, to get everything just right. So let's load our circulation image. And uh, I think this is the most difficult part of Blender is really kind of understanding this screen right here. We actually just want to navigate to the folder that has our image in it. We'll click here. We'll go to the desktop. That's why I threw the image on. And the folder was called, I believe, here we go, Blender Heart. And inside of that, there's three folders, Blender Examples, Blender Slides, and Blender Images. We're going to use images here. And the image we want to get is circulation. So let's click on that. And just click on Select Image. And let's go back to where we were. And that should load here in a moment. So our circulation image is loaded. We can't see very much from it, so I'm going to actually change the alpha a little bit. There we go, bring that alpha up so I can see that. And I'm going to zoom in on it. I can move this out of the way now. I don't need it. And so I'll use my zoom. And if you're on a uh, touchpad uh, Windows computer, it's Control-Alt and then uh, <laughs> left-click slide. So there we go, we're zoomed in. And that's what I want. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's pan this a little bit using the shift alt key with the drag and the, the left click mouse button. And that's pretty good. Now I want to go to the other side and I'm bring in my medical slice. Let's move over to the other side. And just one more thing on this side. I want to make sure that I'm selecting the front view. So come along and hit front and you can see my axis right here. I'm looking down on the Z X axis. Let's move over here now bring my next image in. And what I want to do is top down view here so I'm select top. It's already selected. And now let's uh, bring in our next image, hit view and hit background. And we're going to use a background image. That load will be here. Once again, I think the most difficult uh, part of Blender is understanding this menu system. There's, there's nothing uh, difficult about it, it's just not what we used to typically see. So hit desktop. I want to come down here and go for my heart folder. There it is, Blender Heart. And images. And let me see if I can remember why I called this a uh, reference image. Okay, these particular images happen to be in the Body Slices folder. So let's click on Body Slices. And we'll come along here and choose Image 1. There we go. So I had forgotten where I would placed it. Just hit Select Image over here. And then your new image, Body Slice, that you're looking for will appear. All right, cool. And then we can move this out of the way now. But we're going to need this because we're going to need to adjust some things. But what we're looking at right here is some body slices. I don't like the alpha. Let's bring that up. Okay, so we can see that. That's good. And then we're going to zoom in on it using the uh, Control-Alt key. There we go. Zoom in on that. And we want to pan it around to the kind of the middle here. Cool. And we're going to start laying out uh, some uh, just small circles with respect to these uh, images so we can get the uh, vein positions. We're going to model basically the three basic veins or arteries. And please forgive me because I keep confusing veins and arteries in this whole process. I'm not a medical person, but uh, just you know what I'm talking about. And so we're going to model these three, one, two, and three. And those have specific names. Uh, let me, uh, if I want to get a little medical here, I could give those to you. But let's move on over and 
put some circles where those are supposed to go. So I'm coming along here on this side. I'm looking down on top. I'm going to hit the uh, space bar and add mesh and bring out a circle. Okay. Now I'm going to bring that down to um, actually go back what we did last time. 14 vertices. Okay. And hit OK. And I have a circle. And I want to bring it over the first. Uh, um, valve and it's too big of course so I'm hit the S key and shrink it a little bit there we go and that's looking pretty good at least from my side and I'm going to bring it down over here but there's a problem because things don't match up I need to go to the other side let's move the, my cursor over here and if I go to the other side here's my uh, uh, circle right here it's not in the right place so everything's really whacked out. It's not nothing's right. I'm going to try to get this over the right um, aorta and uh, slide it over here. That's actually where I want it, but it's not in the right place on the other screen. So I'm going to go over on the other side and I'm going to move my image around and start readjusting. So I'm ready to start modeling here. I think just let me get the image right on the other side. So I'm on the side here. I want that right here to pair over that. So let's go ahead and bring our uh, images up and adjust this one. There we go. And I'm happy with that. Now I can adjust a little bit more by moving my green because that doesn't matter on the other side. So I'm going to bring that green up a little bit. So we have the superior vein cavity circle in the right place. And now we want to do the uh, plumary artery and the aorta. And you'd think, well, we're ready to go, but we don't quite have no enough information. We actually need a little bit more. So I have this uh, basically model I pulled from the library at NKU, and it's a big heart. And uh, you can see uh, the different veins, and so I, it gives me an opportunity to basically work with this 3D. Now, the problem with my slices is that as I slice along here from the top, uh, I would think here you can look at the bottom, you can see that the uh, plumary artery is in front of the aorta. Uh, but you don't actually see that until you slice lower into the heart. But our slice is actually high in the heart here. So actually what's happening is, is that the plumary artery has to be ahead of the aorta. So we need to put the plumary artery up here and the aorta down here. So let's come along here and hit the space bar and choose a circle. And once again, we want that to be 14 vertices. Hit OK. And we're going to move that into place. We'll work with the uh, plumary artery first. Bring that right here and shrink that a little bit. Cool. And I'm going to move it about right here. That's kind of where I want it to be. But it's not quite right on my image over here, so let's move over to the other image. So it's not in position, so let's place it over to the plumary artery. And let's make it level, and then we'll come back and fix it in the other image. I'm going to level up there. Cool. And place it right over the artery. I'm going to shrink that a little bit with the S key. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's go back to our other model and get our image correct, and we'll be ready to place the other, uh, the aorta right here next. So we're on the other side of the screen on a slice, and we, the image is all off. So we have to bring up the image, go down here to view, and click background, and let's get that background just right. So we got a little panel here, and basically we just need to shrink our slice image to compare it to the heart. So if, once again, if you'd had uh, the same model and take the picture from the same model, then your images would be right on. But when you have two different models like this, you have to work with the uh, sizing to get everything just perfect. So I'm going to bring the size down a little bit. Let's move it down to 4, and let's offset this image a little bit and see if we can get it right. Okay, we're getting closer. We're going to go down to 3, and let's move that over. Getting pretty close there, so I'm going to actually magnify so we can actually see this a little bit better. So right now we're getting pretty close there. I'm going to move that aorta down a little bit. And you know what? I'm getting pretty happy with that. So we're going to leave it right there. We're going to put the next uh, artery in, and we'll be done. So go ahead and hit the space bar here. Uh, hit a. Uh, let's add a uh, another circle, 14 vertices, and let's place that where they uh, shrink it a little bit. And let's place that where the aorta should go. And once again, I said it's going to be lower. The reason it's going to be lower is because, once again, we're slicing at the top. And that's actually what you're going to see forward as you move forward. I'll put it right there. 
Let's check our other image and get it in place, and we'll be ready to go. So we're going to slide over, check our other image. And right now, it's about right in the right position, so both our images will start to match up. We just need to pull this up in the Z direction, which won't influence the other side. We need to actually make that just a little bit larger. Hit the S. Okay, got to make it a little bit larger. And now what I'm going to do is bring these down and make all these parallel. I'm doing that because I'm drawing fast. You wouldn't actually do this in a model that you spend a little bit more time on. But guess what? We now have all our uh, uh, veins and arteries matching up in the right place. And we're ready to continue modeling.